building awareness that you're a fractional executive. One big reason why it doesn't matter. Welcome to Fractionals Unplugged, a vodcast and podcast from Maven. You've left the corporate executive world to build your own fractional executive business to secure your income, savor your independence, and succeed on your terms. You should make in excess of $500,000 per year and more as you scale. You know you need to focus on delivering your genius to your clients and partner with a firm like Maven to get you those clients. In this podcast, Jay Kingley, the CEO of Maven, and his guests share their insight on how you can get out of Struggle City and into Success City and beyond. Enjoy today's episode. I'm Jay Kingley, the CEO of Maven. It's time to get real. I talk to a lot of fractional executives, and most are convinced the number one reason they are struggling to get clients is the lack of awareness of the label fractional. To make matters worse, there are fractional executive trade associations, communities, and conferences promoting the myth that the solution to poor demand is educating the marketplace on using fractional executives for their businesses. They are vehement in their belief that greater awareness of the label fractional would give every fractional executive out there as many clients as they want. Not really. Given how twisted everyone is about the label fractional, it's worth defining it. From the client or demand side, fractional means part-time. And let's be honest, part-time hires, even at the executive level, have been around forever. So what's new? The fancy label fractional. If we all just called fractional executives part-time executives, we dodge a ton of confusion. Despite the explosive growth in executives who are now labeling themselves fractional, the reality is that to the client, you are just part-time. On the supply or fractional executive side, fractional means you're working full-time serving multiple clients. Now, back in the day, a part-time executive worked less usually with just one client, doing 10 to 20 hours a week and playing golf for the balance. Most fractionals are aiming to match or even outdo their corporate paychecks on 40 hours a week, not the 60 or 70 hours that most were doing in corporate. There is some confusion among fractional executives as to the labels fractional, consultant, interim, and employee. A fractional executive is a part-time line executive. An interim executive is a full-time line executive serving in a temporary capacity. A consultant works on a project basis, often part-time, and sits outside the organization. An employee works for the man, doing what they are told, how they are told, and when they are told. So the label fractional has real meaning for those that want to become a fractional executive, but confuses the marketplace because fractional executives don't use the part-time label anymore. A self-inflicted supply side marketing problem that feels like an own goal. The conventional wisdom is that hiring a fractional is cheaper than hiring a full-time executive. It is a question of price, not value. Fortunately, nine out of 10 fractional executives Believe this nonsense. When you lead with price, you aren't leading with value. You're telling the world that within a discipline like marketing, finance, sales, and so on, one fractional executive isn't much different from another. As a fractional, you are now one of many, and there are too many. You might as well just go get a job and do what your boss wants you to do, when they want you to do it, and how they want you to do it. John Arms, a fractional marketing leader and educator, documents that in 2023, 2,000 ex-corporate executives called themselves fractional. Fast forward to 2024, and that number has skyrocketed 60-fold to 120,000, identifying as such on LinkedIn alone. Here's the rub. The number of fractional executive jobs has increased only 57% since 2020, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. 
when supply increases 5,900% and demand 57%, you've got a problem. No, it's not just a problem, it's a full-blown crisis. Educating the marketplace on what the label fractional means isn't going to solve the catastrophe of supply far outpacing demand. If you want to be a winner in a market where supply greatly exceeds demand, your only shot at success is to differentiate yourself so that in your specialty, the demand for what you do exceeds the supply of those who can do it. And the best way to do that is to communicate your genius or intellectual property, aka IP. When you're selling experience, you have little to no IP and your pipeline will be sporadic on a good day. You will be in a price war because you're selling a commodity. When you're offering expertise, your IP is widely available and you'll ride the roller coaster of feast and famine. You're one of many, so your prospects will use price as a key decision factor. When you have insight, your IP is uncommon and your pipeline will be full. You are one of a few, so you'll command premium pricing without question. If you have wisdom, you're in very rare air. Your IP is unique and you'll have a long waiting list of clients who want to work with you. Your price is largely irrelevant because it is dwarfed by your value. When you disaggregate supply and demand by the category of intellectual property, you get a very different picture than the macro level massive oversupply of fractionals. The biggest area where supply is way ahead of demand is for those offering experience, which is about 20% of the market. There is still far too much supply relative demand for the 60% who offer expertise. So for 80% of the market, they are struggling to get enough clients for no other reason than there is way too much supply for the demand that exists. The imbalance is large, not small. So efforts to improve awareness aren't going to be enough to close the gap. But it is a very different story at the top of the market. There is not enough supply to meet demand for those with insight and wisdom. Provided that you go to market and sell, consistent with the genius of your intellectual property, you will be fully booked, if not have a waiting list, and you will be able to earn in excess of a half a million dollars per year, assuming full-time hours. Bottom line, 20% of all fractionals can prosper, while 80% will struggle. Which group should you be in? Which group are you in? Calling yourself a fractional executive is a good thing if you're serving as a part-time line executive. Undertaking a project, you're a consultant. Providing counsel, you're an advisor. Labels are important because they provide context to make it easier for a prospect to get what you do quickly. A label is a type of business jargon. It's a way to communicate in shorthand, but jargon only works if all parties understand its meaning. Otherwise, it just causes confusion. Those that struggle believe that if only the market would become more aware of the fractional label, then there would be plenty of demand. But the label isn't going to solve the harsh economic realities of the large imbalance of supply over demand. To succeed, you must redefine your market so that the demand for what you offer exceeds the supply of those who can provide it. Only then will you achieve full utilization at a price commensurate with your value. You redefine your market by differentiating yourself with your genius or your intellectual property, not by using a label. Here are the secrets that those with insight and wisdom know that those with experience and expertise don't. A label is useful in marketing and irrelevant in sales. Your client should use the label that communicates your role to the organization and outside stakeholders. The label should avoid turf disputes and political reactions inside the organization. 
It's a variation of the old saying, you can call me whatever you want as long as you call me. Clients will hire you based on your ability to make a positive impact on their business at a price that represents great value for money. Make it easy for clients to want to engage with you and no one else because your story provides insight, if not wisdom, that they can relate to. Your genius delivered in your marketing message is vastly more important than the label you use to describe what you do. Most successful fractional executives don't obsess over the label. Pick the label that aligns with your go-to-market to provide context for your ICPs or target market so they can think about you correctly. But when you are talking to a live prospect, it is your genius or intellectual property that will make your case and carry the day. If you want to learn more, shoot me a message and we'll talk. You've spent the last 25 or more years working your way up the corporate ladder, achieving success and reward along the way. You're done with corporate and you're not going back. It's time to make your mark as a fractional executive. Whether you're a solo practitioner, run a small firm, or have a boutique, Maven enables you to earn over $500,000 annually and potentially much more as you scale. Get the freedom, flexibility, and independence you've earned, giving you a lifestyle defined by your deepest values, priorities, and aspirations. We provide do-it-for-you lead generation, marketing, and sales in one place to bring the clients who value what you do to your door, asking to work with you. You work one-to-one -one with the two senior partners who have done this successfully, both for themselves and for their clients for over 30 years. Engage in deeply impactful work that not only transforms your clients, but also amplifies their influence on their own customers, fueling your sense of achievement and personal fulfillment. Reach out to Jay at j.kingley at fractionalmaven.com. We can only take a limited number of new clients, so what are you waiting for?